Hey guys, welcome to our next Art 2 project. Now this is a tried and true classic of an art project that you reach when you finally get to the art room and one I've been doing since the very beginning of my art teaching career. I've kept all the ones from last year so that hopefully we can put them all up together at an art show in the spring. Um, and this is part of the beginning of a series of self-portraits we're going to be doing. So first off, you're going to be introduced to the grid method, which is a method of drawing, drawing from a photograph or from a reference to help you place things correctly. I love it. It makes drawing very simple, um, and it's a great way to use, um, great thing to use when you're drawing portraits. So basically what you're going to do is walk through this um, slideshow looking at the grid method and how to use it. Then you are going to use the grid method to draw our little friend, the dragon here. And this will be your formative part of this assignment. So you are going to use the grid method to draw Mr. Dragon here. We'll call him Puff, Puff the Magic Dragon. Then um, you are going to utilize the grid method to draw your very own self-portrait. But of first, of course, we're going to look at one of my favorite artists. I love this dude, and I love his story, um, Chuck Close, who utilizes the grid method to draw some giant, very cool um, portraits of people. He has a very interesting story that I won't give away. There's a great link to um, a little biography that I'd like you to watch. And what you're going to do is you're going to utilize the same method he does to create your very own smash face, we call them self-portraits. So let me get to that part so I can read you the requirements. Sorry if I'm making you motion sick, look away. All right, so, oh my gosh. You're going to be using your um, our traditional that you learned about in Art 1, Ebony Pencil and Blending Stump. So I'd like you to begin by um, creating a value scale, just so you understand and remember how to do that and how to work with your Ebony Pencil. Next, you're going to create your smash face. Um, there's a great example, um, a great website that shows some great examples here that you can take a look at. But what I want you to do is you're going to use your Photo Booth app to create an alter self portrait. There are some great ones in Photo Booth where you can squish your face and morph your face and make it look all funny. It's much easier to draw yourself when you look kind of funky. Then you're going to print your image or use your iPad to complete the next steps. You can create a grid within programs in your iPad and utilize your iPad just to make the grid um, and re refer to that, the picture on your iPad to create your grid and create the, um, your piece. So on a blank piece of paper, you're going to recreate a one by one grid. You're going to redraw your smash face image. Concentrate on getting the lines and shape in. Once you have drawn the basic drawing, complete erase the grid lines before you start shading and shade your drawing to make it look realistic. And you can do this all right in your sketchbook. This should be a well done effort, okay? I have left kits for you in the office for you to get um, at any time that have an ebony pencil, a ruler, a blender, and what you will need to complete this project. If you're struggling, just send me an email and we can have a Zoom and talk about it and do a little work. All right, you guys, ex enjoy this exploration of Chuck Close and his work. And like I said, this is going to be the beginning of a series of um, um, self-portraits that we do. Thanks and good luck.